I think it's working. Okay. Anyways. Live streaming commences. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's see what we could do today, baby. I'm very, like, uh, weirded out about today, but we'll see what happens. Uh, getting 10 people, at least 10 people to spit in my hand, I don't think it should be that hard to do. And I don't know, that's not really that crazy. Well, for me, it's not. That's an idea that I thought of that I really enjoyed. The thought of just... I don't know. <laughs> it's not a it's not a challenge or anything like that. It's just something I thought of doing and I'm going to do it. Before I do that, I have to say something. Yesterday I went to Times Square to find a uh, Mexican Andy. And uh it was horrible. Uh I, I Mexican Andy, you really treat your fellow CX members really weird. Um, I cannot wait when I see you in person again. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to show you the footage. I'm going to show you the goddamn footage of what you did, you piece of shit. I really hate the fact that you did that to me, dude. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I literally went all the way from the Bronx. Okay? Took like an hour and 15 fucking minutes to see your stupid ass. You understand me? I literally said in your chat, hey man, I'm gonna go down there, show you around New York, blah, blah, blah. What did you reply? You said, yeah, I'm coming. You said something like, come over or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'm coming over. And uh, I did. And then when I got there, guess what happened? I asked you if I could suck your dick. You said no. Asked you if I could lick your ass. You said no again, which pisses me off. Um, that's kind of weird that you say no to someone that supported you for a long time, okay? Not only that, but the weirdest part about meeting Mexican Andy was I'm just talking to him there. Right? We're <laughs> laughing about Sam Pepper. All of a sudden, I mentioned Sam Pepper. He's like, yeah, everybody's celebrating the chat. Sam Pepper is gone. He's gone, yeah, yeah. And then slowly he just starts walking away. I'm just staring at him like, uh. And he just leaves completely. And it was fucking weird how he just left. Didn't, didn't say bye, didn't say, oh, th thank you for coming out, none of that. That guy's a piece of shit, dude. Seriously. You can't get any, you can't get any more of an asshole than that. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. But that's what it is. That's what happens when you... Mexican Andy, man. It's terrible. Hopefully he learns his lesson one day. But we'll see. I'm going to 14th right now to see... If I could get people to do this, should be easy because there's enough freaks on 14th to be able to do this. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep my shit on pe point of view mode. On point of view mode, I'm going to have to keep this today. So you guys can see the people I talk to and then put my camera over. Let me see how this looks, actually. Hello, Christina. Hello. Let's see how this looks. So, okay. Alright. I think that'll work. Okay. This is gonna be weird to find people to do this, but... I'll try. You just gotta find the fucking people that look like they suck cock. I believe that's the one. I believe if I find people that look like they suck cock or whatever, I think those are the people that are gonna be the ones that spit into my hand. Oh, thank you, the first spit of the day. Wow, Jesus cow, I love you. 
Let me see if I can get a point of view of someone spitting on my hand like this. Hello, spit on my hand, sir. Okay. Maybe we could do it like that where I just turn it this way. I'm not sure. Point of view. Jesus cow with the first spit. Miss J did not spit. That's kind of messed up. I kind of hate you now, Miss J, for not spitting right away. He knows how to treat a fellow right. He knows how to treat a lady like me right. I don't know about you, but I feel like this means something. I feel like this is like a hidden message here. Guess what's inside, and then it says nuts.com. This has to be like a secret website for like a sexual website. They try to cover it up and make it look like, I don't know. I don't spit, I swallow, sure. I know you do, you swallow a lot of uh, KFC and watermelon and a lot of uh, McDonald's. That's why you weigh about 400 pounds, but it's all good. Don't worry about it. Look at that beautiful nappy discolored beard, where? Show me where it is. Where is that, where is that, where is the nappy beard? So I could tell them how to make it look beautiful like mine, nice and smooth and where is it? I want to help that person now, Miss J. You're not, you're not, where is that person? You're not cool for doing that. You are not cool. <clears throat> Let's see how we're gonna do this. I really wanna keep it in this biting your nail polish off. What? No, it's, I don't know if you noticed, but it's called nail polish going away. I don't know if you know that, but that's how it actually works. That's how it works, buddy. <laughs> I guess she thinks there's no such thing as nail polish coming off. She has, she has the uh, Willy Wonka nail polish where it never goes away. It stays like forever or something. Okay, poor connection. <sighs> and you're the Oompa Loompa. Bad connection already? This is too early. Make me chocolate. I don't know, and you're the Oompa Loompa.